ISIS releases a new video purporting the beheading of British hostage Alan Henning. I'm Francesca Page and the story tops your Newsmax Now update. The video released today mirrors the other beheading videos distributed on the internet by the Islamic State. This video ends with an ISIS militant threatening a man identified as an American hostage. The video has not been verified but will continue to monitor this story. And today, President Obama is making his first visit to Indiana in three years, and he stopped at a steel manufacturing plant to tout his economic policies. The United States has put more folks back to work than Europe, Japan, and all other advanced economies combined. All of them combined, we put more folks back to work right here in the United States of America. And now unemployment is back below 6% for the first time in more than four years. The Labor Department says employers added nearly 250,000 jobs last month. How do you think Joe Biden really feels about being vice president? Here he is at Harvard talking with a student who just has said he's the vice president of the student body. Isn't it a bitch? I mean, that isn't a <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> vice president. <then? laughs> Whoa. How do you we, feel about it now? I'm joking. We, I'm joking. We, it's Biden says it's the best decision he's ever made. Here's someone who doesn't seem too happy about his time under President Obama. The Unpanetta continues to hit back at the Obama administration for its Iraq war exit strategy. The former head of the CIA and Pentagon is out with a new book called Worthy Fights. Panetta says he warned the president that removing troops too soon would allow terrorists to find a safe haven. He says the Obama administration pushed back when Pentagon officials suggested keeping U.S. forces in Iraq longer. Senator Lindsey Graham says Florida Senator Marco Rubio and potential presidential candidate might not be ready for the Oval Office. During an interview with the National Review, Graham says the Florida senator is not quite ready to make a presidential run in 2016. But Graham says he could step, down, step up to the plate if no other candidates emerge. The South Carolina senator cites his experience work, working Rubio on the immigration bill, which led to conservative criticism for Rubio in the aftermath. In Hong Kong, pro-democracy protesters have cancelled talks with government officials over electoral reforms. Those peaceful protests in Hong Kong aren't quite so peaceful today. Fights broke out today between supporters of the government in Beijing and pro-democracy protesters. More coming your way in 30 minutes. I'm Francesca Page. Now back to New York and Rick Unger.